Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. A bank rule looks at transactions coming in from your bank or credit card, and then either adds them to your books automatically or pre-categorizes them for you to review. Let's go over how to create, use, and edit bank rules to make categorizing transactions faster. Select Bookkeeping, Transactions. Note that your navigation may look like this. After you categorize and confirm two or more transactions with the same description, QuickBooks suggests you create a bank rule. The bank rule will fill in the category and payee based on your previous categorizations. You can also choose to auto-confirm transactions with the same description whenever they're downloaded later. Use this with caution, because if you leave it on, you won't get a chance to review the transaction before QuickBooks adds it to your books. Select Create Rule, and QuickBooks automatically categorizes and adds the payee to all transactions with the same description. Instead of waiting for QuickBooks to suggest a rule, you can select Rules, New Rule to create one yourself. First, enter a name for the rule. Next, select whether the rule is for money in or money out transactions, and which bank and credit cards it applies to. Then enter what you want QuickBooks to look for in the transaction. You can choose the description or bank text, which are details sent by the bank, and base it on text that either is or isn't there. Or base it on the amount of the transaction. Add as many conditions as you need. If you already have some transactions awaiting your review, select Test Rule to see if what you've entered so far applies to any of them. This feature helps you confirm that you entered the correct conditions. If the rule does not apply to any currently unreviewed transactions, but should, adjust the conditions. Finally, you decide what QuickBooks does with downloaded transactions that meet the criteria you entered. Select whether you want the transactions categorized as expenses, transfers, checks, or credit card payments. Then enter the category you want QuickBooks to apply to the transaction. QuickBooks can also split transactions between multiple categories by percentage or amount. The rule can also apply other info, such as who you paid, who it was for, tags, and more. You may see different options depending on the company settings you've turned on. Adding this info ensures you'll have accurate records and helps you to reconcile and run reports. If you turn on Auto Confirm, QuickBooks applies the rule to any downloaded transaction it applies to and confirms it immediately. Remember to use this with caution, because if you leave it on, you won't get a chance to review transactions before QuickBooks adds them to your books. Select Save to create your rule. If you need to change a rule, select Edit. Select the Action drop-down arrow, and you can copy, disable, or delete a rule. Disabling the rule stops it from applying to transactions temporarily until you re-enable it. Delete a rule to permanently remove it. QuickBooks applies rules to transactions in the order they are in the Rules Center because QuickBooks can only apply one rule per transaction. Change the priority of your rules by selecting and dragging the grid. You can also export rules to use in a different company or import rules from another company. Go back to Transactions. Whenever QuickBooks downloads a transaction, you can see if QuickBooks applied a rule to it. Select the Categorize tab, and you can see the transactions you and QuickBooks have confirmed. You'll see Auto Confirm next to any transaction that QuickBooks automatically confirmed with a rule. Now you're ready to use bank rules to categorize and confirm your transactions in the banking center.